Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, April 26, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we're looking at the weekly chart for the US dollar. And I chose to do look at the weekly chart because it kind of shows us a a better picture of where we we'll probably are going in the long run with the US dollar. So as you can see, we did rally from the bottom here at 89.18, all the way up towards the 50 moving average and found a major uh, resistance here at the 50 moving average and created this shooting star, which is a very bearish indicator. This could mean that we will drop back towards the very lows. And that will, of course, have major implications for basically stocks, for indices, for precious metals and so on, and also also commodities as most of them are basically um, are basically traded in the US dollar. And as the US dollar becomes cheaper, then those uh, commodities and precious metals also become cheaper to basically buy. So we'll see oil basically rallying in the, if the US dollar basically starts to break down. And also for major currencies, this will be very bullish for the Great British Pound, the Euro, uh, US dollar, and so on and so on. So we, you can see here in the weekly chart, we are basically trading underneath the uh, middle of the bullish band. And this is a very bearish candlestick. There is basically no pullback at the end of a, a Friday session. And that could basically mean that we'll drop towards the bottom of the bullish band at 89.21 at this current stage. We have the stochastic is bearish, the CCI is bearish, the RSI is bearish, and the MACD is in bearish territory and is about to cross the signal, signal line yet again. Last time we crossed the signal line was basically, basically here. And that started off this massive rally towards the upside. So weekly, in the weekly chart, when, the, um, when we have a crossing of the signal line, usually indicates that we'll have a, a major shift in trend, in the basic trend. You can see basically here, and uh, that was back in, uh, this was basically May, uh, 17 of May in last year, where we have a crossing of the signal line in the MACD, and we basically fell apart in the US dollar. Until we basically got to this area where we rallied, and then we basically fell apart yet again. So these indications of the crossing here, that could basically mean major moves to the downside. If this basically breaks, then we could go and test these previous lows. Yet again, this is at 88. And if 88 basically breaks, then we could head much, much, much lower. Uh, so there are some barriers to the downside, but it's not looking very really good for the US dollar. We had a ra major rally here, but now we're just completely falling apart. We can see that the 20 exponential has also been up. Uh, a uh, moving average where we have basically broken down from and um, yes it is to be seen how far it's go if this breaks then we'll most likely go significantly lower so let's look at oil so as you can see we have a breakdown of the US dollar and we have found support down here in the middle of the bullish band of uh, in oil and it looks like we are basically rounding off and heading back towards the upside so 63.82 uh, is probably where we'll find resistance. If this breaks, then we'll head back towards the 67. Technical indicators for oil are favoring the upside at this current stage. So, sorry. Um, we can see the MACD is above the zero and above the signal line. The Sakasi is bearish at this point. CCI is bullish and the RSI is bullish. So it looks like this was basically the bottom and we are going to head back towards the upside. If this breaks, then we could head all the way back towards the very bottom here at the 58. And if that breaks, then we could head all the way down to 55 and then to 50. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas has had a major shift. So expectation was when we basically broke the 200 moving average that we were going to drop significantly lower. We created a double bottom here. So we have a bottom here and a bottom here. And then we basically took off to the upside. And at this current stage, we're trading at, uh, at uh, we have it here, we have it here. Uh, 2.7930 and uh, at this current stage we are probably going to see a pullback towards the 50 
we're going to have a crossing of the 20 exponential and the 50 moving week average. And that is a very bullish time. So we could see this rally uh, continue rallying towards the upside. Technical indicators, they are, for example, the MACD is uh, bullish. That's uh, the stochastic is basically flat. The CCI is bullish and the, uh, the RSI at this current day is, is basically flat. So we could see this rally uh, break down towards the 50 and then continue rallying all the way up towards the $3. So let's look at copper. So copper has just absolutely taken off to, to, to the upside. We have we are testing the previous highs here. If that breaks, we'll head towards the 4.5. We are getting fairly overstretched. So uh, pullbacks at this point are kind of expected as we are outside of the bullish band. We are also approaching overbought conditions. However, technical indicators are very bullish. So target here will most likely be 4.5. Um, and after that, we'll probably have a pullback towards the 20 exponential or the 50 moving average, which have been very supportive in the past. Pullbacks for the, uh, to divorce the 50 have all, we can see it basically here, and we can see it here and here, all the way. And also here, this took out significantly the upside. And now we're doing exactly the same thing and heading towards the 4.5. Five. So let's look at gold. So gold has also turned around. We can see that we have a crossing of the 20 exponential and the 50 moving average indicating bullish momentum. We can see basically the last time we crossed was here and then we fell apart. Now we have a crossing to the upside and we could see this rally up towards the, the 200 moving average. We are we did get fairly overstretched there, and we could see this pull back towards the 20. But if the 20 uh, acts as support, then we could basically bounce from that and head towards the upside. Technical indicators there are turning around. So MACD is still in bullish territory, but it's flattening off. The stochastic is bearish. The CCI is in bullish territory, but it's it's really pointing to the downside. And the RSI is basically bearish at this current stage. But if the 20 exponential uh, offers support if you bounce from there then this could really take off towards the upside break below the 50 could open the door all the way back towards the very lows so let's look at silver so as you can see silver basically got way ahead of itself it went outside of the bullish band and then just broke down and found support at the 50 moving average and this is kind of what i'm uh, expecting to happen for gold that it will drop towards the 50 or the 20 and find support there and then continue rallying to the upside technical leaders they are fairly mixed the macd is bullish the stochastic is bearish the cci is a bullish territory still but it's pointing towards bearish uh, momentum and the rsi is technically flat at this current stage so if we rally from here then we could head towards 27 if we break down from here, we could head towards the 200 moving average at 25. So let's look at platinum. So platinum did rally up towards the top of the bullish band, which it has been doing now for technically forever. And then we've had this uh, quite a big pullback. However, technical indicators are very bullish at this current stage. So we could have another run at the top of the bullish band, which also is this previous highs. If that basically breaks, then we could head towards a 1300, which probably is going to be the next target. We are gradually grinding towards the upside. It is basically rallies towards the, the rallies towards the top of the bullish bound, breakdowns, rallies to the top of the bullish and breakdown, and we'll probably head towards uh, 1300, which also was the previous highs over here. So let's look at Pallium. So Pallium did reach um, way too high at nearly uh, 3,000. We got to 2,922, way outside of bullish band, and then just completely collapsed. So at this point, we are on the edge of being overbought. We are significantly overstretched, and the pullback towards the middle of the bullish band at uh, 2,705 could be expected. That's also the previous highs over here. So. So we have a um, um, triangle here. We can write this up. We can see that we did trend in towards this, uh, this triangle and then just broke towards the upside and pullbacks towards this level here, which is right at the middle of the bullish band. That could be expected. This should also offer uh, major 
support this upper trend line so the target here will most likely be 3000 but uh, at this current stage we are moving way too fast and it's going to be really volatile if this is going to be the way that this basically trends towards the upside so let's look at aluminium so aluminium is also getting into uh, an area where we should find major resistance. It is pulling back quite a bit, but we're getting very overstretched. And a pullback towards the middle at give or take uh, 2271 is kind of expected as current, at this current stage. 20 exponential has been holding really well, while the top of the bullish band has also been major resistance. So pullback is kind of how this has been behaving. And long-term target at this current stage, as we are technically in a really nice channel, is probably going to be 2,500. As you can see, the, we are basically going in this channel here up towards 2,500 in the long run. So this took us, if you take from the beginning of this rally, from the beginning of February until we are now at the end of, uh, of uh, April, probably take another month and a half in order to get towards this um, the target here of 2500 but breakdowns below the middle of the bullish band could open the door to the 50 that's at 2200 so let's look at nickel so nickel has rallied uh, above the 20 exponential moving average but still uh, we have done this before we have basically been uh, pulling back towards the 200 and rallying, pulling back to the 200 and rallying. And it is not until we basically break below the 200 or break above the 50 that this is going to be interesting. And so I'm just going to stay far away from this uh, at this current stage. So let's look at sugar. So sugar continues to rally. We are approaching uh, at 0 0.1690 at this current stage. We're kind of rounding off, so it's not the same and bullish momentum as we have seen the last uh, three weeks we're kind of rounding off here we're going to have a crossing of the 20 exponential and the 50. we could see a pullback towards the 20 exponential and then continue rallying up towards 18 and probably these previous highs here at 1890. that's most likely what's going to happen here as uh, we are getting fairly overstretched and overbought and we need basically a pullback before going higher so let's look at cotton So cotton really took off on Friday and uh, at this current stage we are significantly overstretched of the, in the bullish band. We are approaching overbought territory and Mac, all, all technical indicators are very bullish. But a pullback towards the 50 or the 20 could be expected at this point as we are very overstretched. Last time we got overstretched was basically here and then we basically fell apart. But I'm not saying that it's going to happen at this point. It looks like we are basically um, have turned around here and this was basically the very bottom. We created a double bottom here and then it basically took off to the upside. We're most likely going to have a crossing of the 20 exponential and the 50 in the next day or two. And that will also offer more bullish momentum to the upside. Long term target here will most likely be the previous size of 0 0.9527. So let's look at Kokoa. So Gokoa is uh, just uh, trending, uh, trading underneath the 50 moving average and the 20 exponential moving average. Nothing's really happening here. It has been a horrible market to trade for a very long time. This was fairly predict predictable, but these moves, it's been a long time we saw these major rallies to the upside and also uh, breakdowns and so on. This was uh, behaving in a Fibonacci retracement pattern. It was very predictable where this basically was going. But ever since then, it has basically been all over the place and I would stay far, far, far away from this. So let's look at wheat. So wheat really took off on, on, uh, on Thursday and on Friday, we continued this rally. And at this current stage, we're expecting a pullback towards at least these previous highs. So 685, that is probably where we'll find uh, quite a lot of support. Break below that could open the door to the 20 exponential at the 652. Uh, we have a crossing here of the 20 exponential on the 50, but that is this is a really really uh, parabolic move to the upside in in the weed market, and uh, is getting way of a hand and should be a, a pullback at any point. We are also significantly overbought. 
Technical indicators are still very bullish, but uh, at this point, if you look, for example, in the weekly, we can see that um, this is not sustainable. It will break down towards back towards the middle of the bullish band or these previous highs here before going higher. So we are technically in a long-term uptrend, and uh, yes, pullbacks are basically uh, where buyers come back in and buy this back to the upside. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button at the bottom and see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck, and thank you very much. Thank you.